Hi everyone, welcome to Jaloon. My name is Bhanvi and today we are going to talk about the SOPs for a packer. Packing is about gathering and packaging the items to prepare them for shipment to the customer along with appropriate packing materials and documentation before the package is labeled and shipped. What is it that the packer should possess? Three things. First, excellent organizational skills. Second, proficiency using tools which are required for packing. Third, physical agility and being able to lift and handle heavy packages. Let us now quickly look into the job titles a packer can have. First, packer. Second, warehouse associate. Third, warehouse supervisor. Fourth, warehouse manager. Let us now look into the job responsibilities of a packer. First, design your warehouse for optimal efficiency. Second, ensure that all the items are undamaged. Third, clean all shipping containers. Fourth, label all items in the inventory. Fifth, pack all items into the shipping containers. Sixth, seal and label all shipping containers. Seventh, keep your inventory clean and organized. Eighth, optimize your storage strategies. Ninth, use more efficient packaging. Tenth, double check each order before packaging. Eleventh, Keep your inventory accurately updated. Let us now talk about the checklist and best practices for a packer. First, keep your warehouse well organized. If the warehouse is well organized, the task of finding packages becomes easy and it saves time. Second, keep an accurate inventory count. Keep a track of incoming and outgoing packages to ensure a well-counted inventory. Third, double check each order. It is an unpleasant experience if a customer receives the wrong order. Hence, it is highly advisable to double check each order to attain accuracy. Fourth, minimize damages. The aim is to design packages in such a way that they are well protected from the damage and are light enough to avoid an increase in the weight of the finished goods. Fifth, report damages. Report any damage of package in transition immediately to your superior. Sixth, use right material to pack. Aluminium, paperboard are the initial choices. Paperboard is very lightweight and can protect the finished goods really well. Seventh, recycle. The recycle aspect of materials like paper, cardboard, etc. is important as it helps to reduce the amount of waste going into the local landfills. Let us now talk about the tools and technologies required by a packer. First, label printer. Label printer applicator applies labels to the adjacent panels of a cardboard box. Second, bubble wrap. It is a pliable transparent material used to pack fragile items. Third, cartons. Many types of cartons are used in packaging. It is however important to understand the size of the cartons in the inventory to ensure efficient packaging. Fourth, tapes. Using various types of tapes based on the product inside is important. Couple of examples include duct tape, packaging tape, etc. Let us now look at the do's and don'ts for a packer. Do's. First, do follow the guidelines of the brand. Choose a brand consistent, visually appealing color palette for packaging and Follow the company's guidelines to pack. Second, do have the right tape. Use strapping or a strong tape 
to seal and secure the product so that nothing comes or spills out while in transit. Third, do choose the right size. Choose the size of the package based on its content. Small packaging may damage the product and too big packaging may lead to wastage of the material. Fourth, do use packaging as per the product inside. Boxes should be durable and double walled. Items tend to get stacked while in transit. Hence, it is really important that the packaging is strong enough to support the weight of other packages. Let us now talk about the don'ts. First, don't overseal any package. All the shipments can be opened by the customs authorities for an inspection. Second, don't use label tapes. Do not consider labels such as fragile or handle with care as a substitute for careful packaging. They are appropriate only for information purposes. Third, do not use round tube. Do not use round tube type cylinders for packing rolled maps, plans and blueprints. Instead, use triangular tubes. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great learning time through this video.